Take damage it with it, but was able Good. to get the head out and drive it for Take a knock. It. Davis now, his lifetime numbers against Kershaw, just a two for 14 line, so advantage pitcher here. He's ready, here's the first offering. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Oh, it has him looking silly here. It's 0-2. In a double play situation, that's the location you want a guy to swing at. More than likely, he's going to beat it into the ground. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And now a late bunt attempt here with two strikes. But this is going to be a foul ball, so he becomes a strikeout victim. Batting seven. No and that fielder. brings up Chad Pender. Yeah. He takes his first cuts in this Pinder. one with a man at first and two away. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Popped him up. Muncie is there and the side is retired. Into the box now. Number nine. And he'll start out there half of the third. Top of the order to follow. No balls in one strike. And it's one and one. Hit to third. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So it's back to the top of the order now. And in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. One out, nobody on. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Three and oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. And that misses for ball four. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Right there for strike one. Matt Muncy. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. Peterson stands at first with one out. The one one home. Snap throw to third. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Now he goes the other way and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field, but that'll hit off the wall in left center. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. He's not going to complain, but he oh, was thinking what the rest of us were thinking when that left his bat. Home run number two. Didn't quite have enough, so he has to be content with the double. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And the run will score on the wild pitch. My goodness. It swung on and missed. We're even at one and one. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Tanner is after it. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And another runs across as this is now a 4 nothing ball game. Cody Bellinger. Fastball. That ran in and drilled him. So a runner at first with two away. A.J. Paul. Jake Deepman is going to come on to now pitch here, and in just the, the third eight. inning, you have to think Number he'll be 35. asked to eat some innings. Mm, a little tight there. No balls and a strike. 
That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Absolutely scorched that base batter, hit. Worthy ball. of some show Short track stop. love, and as you see it, it came off the bat at 110 miles an hour. That's oh. definitely squaring a ball up. Ball one to start the at bat. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Runners at second and third with two gone. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Kenna will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Two runs on two hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Leading off for the A's. Here comes the second baseman. Boy, not even close with that one, and he's behind 0 and 1. Real nice curveball there. Had a lot of late break, and he waved right through that one. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now, 0 and 2. Profar is usually more of a threat when facing left handers like this. The right handers tend to give him a bit more trouble, so we'll see if that trend continues. Uh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Stepping in, Josh Begley. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First offering on its way. This ball will be chopped foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's Kershaw's 0-2 offering. Fouled off. Another 0-2 home. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Ready for another chance. Now Marcus Simeon, over one here in the early going. Simeon. The 0 1. Hit high in the air down the right field line. In there, a base hit. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, D. Rowe. You make a really it. good pitch, Number and yet 22. this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. And that'll bring in Ramon Moriano as Kershaw will get the upper hand here with strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Line drive to center field and that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, after back-to-back -back two out hits right now, now this pitcher thought he was going to cruise baseman. through this inning, Matt. and now he's got traffic, Jeff and he's Matt. in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate of crooked number going. On the board. Into the box now, Matt Chapman, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Looking to make it three straight two out hits here. He's got a runner in scoring position at second. And the 0-2 on the ground to third. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A strand a couple. 
They're down 4 nothing. Back at the Oakland Coliseum, and before we go much further, let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said their ability to get on the attack and chase the opposing starter from the game prior to the fourth inning obviously sets them up nicely for the rest of the game. Now, he just hopes they can keep that same focus at the plate in the middle and late frames, Matt. All right, thanks, Heidi. Swung on and missed that strike two. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt. And it's back to even at two and right side, but it's well foul. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Now batting, number 16. Now to the plate, number 16. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 0 and 1 the count. Four runs, four hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some pine rook. Nine. Listen, for almost everyone, the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is a big one. Some guys have success when they first get called up, but as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. This is why this guy is so effective. He's able to pound his own, get ahead in the count, and now he has so many options to go to. I really couldn't tell you. It's a flip of the coin as to what he's going to throw right here. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up, but this will land untouched. The 2-2 one more time. Hit back up the middle, taken in by Simeon. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side. Striding in for Oakland, Matt Olson looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. He got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. The center fielder. Mark. Stepping in, Mark Canna, one Canna. for one after a single this first time up. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Aye. Slider, and he can't pull the trigger, two strikes. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Striding in once no again, Number Chris two. Davis comes into this at bat 0 for 1 Chris. in the ball game. Davis. Kershaw into the windup. Here's the 0 1. Roll right back at him, and it hit him. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put in. Here's Jock Peterson now, and to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. Uh, they have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that, but it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. To one and two now. The one-two. Is a swing and a miss at strike three. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there. Yeah, well, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. This is line to left. Pinder is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Now batting. Third base. First pitch coming. Just Here it three. is. And he popped him up. But this will land untouched. Foul. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Two out, nobody on. Still a ball and two strikes.
smoke toward the hole. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. Pro gets him there from short right field. A nice play. And Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob.